for the first time in over three decades. A painting that was stolen from the University of Arizona's museum in the 80s is on display in California. We talked to the VP of Arts at the U of A to learn more about the painting and its upcoming return to Tucson. Every work of art is created and then it has a history. Woman ochre definitely has a history. Woman Ochre was painted by Willem de Kooning in the mid-1950s. Then it was purchased by Joseph Gallagher, who donated it to the University of Arizona. It hung here in this gallery until, until 1985. Until it was stolen by a man and woman. It wasn't seen for 32 years after that. One of the thieves distracted museum staff at this staircase, while the other cut the painting out of its place. The case had reached, you know, cold case status, and so out of the blue, uh, one morning, spring of 2017, President Robbins got a phone call from an FBI field officer letting him know the painting had been found. And during its 32-year disappearance, it experienced some damage. So the thieves literally had to rip it off of that lining. It was one piece of canvas being removed from another, uh, and then the piece was rolled up. All of these very thin and fine lines of cracking and paint loss occurred. In 2019, the Getty Conservation Institute was selected to help restore the painting, and now it's on display at the Getty Museum in Los Angeles. Theft and the recovery and the restoration, those are all really interesting chapters in the life of this artwork. Adding value to the already estimated $100 million piece. It does create a, a certain kind of aura around the painting, and I think people will come to the museum to see the work and understand that story. And if you want to see the painting in person, it's set to be on display at the University of Arizona Museum this October, so mark your calendars.